I can hear you on the, 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 the it can hear you. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> it's okay. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. And it's been a long time. A friend is here with Woo! us. She's visiting, and she brought, she brought her baby. Uh huh. And he's a what is it, like the thirty-five pound Labrador thing, <laughs> Labrador pit thing. He's cute. He's adorable. He's cute, but he's he's gonna be chewing in the background because we gave him a a bone to chew on. But I know I, it's been a while since I've played, and but I remember we kind of resolved the situation not very good with the guy. So I may go back someday because we're just gonna mess around for a bit. But thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. <laughs> Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. <laughs> that makes the other customers nervous. I know she's totally serious. Anyway, serious. this is Eternity, and I am Athena, a sorry matriarch. She's and a bartender. matriarch. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I she can do whatever she wants. You're an sorry matriarch. I thought matriarch served as honored advisors. Right, which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Huh. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Wow. She's awesome. Wow. Jeez. So, but her mom had to fight, probably fight the Krogans or fight with the Krogans? Oh, I can ask! Yeah, do it! <laughs> okay. Your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan. Didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. Oh. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. Oh, wow. And Krogan only lived to be like a thousand or so. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. What? Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Wow! This is a weird, this is, I've never talked to this really? lady. Really? Yeah. I love this lady. Wow! Louise, Louise! Also, okay, she only has eyeshadow on one eye. And it's I was wondering if one of her eyes was like smaller than the Your other. Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the and, and <laughs> air quotes. Space stations. You know, commando stuff. She had put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> this woman, when she first started talking, I was like, she has been smoking for like 900 years. Probably. <laughs> That's her therapy. Uh, neither one of her parents. Wow. That's so Krogan of an Asari to do. <laughs> you said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks they're sexy. Me. I go for asses. <laughs> I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen in a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. That's, that's environmental, that had nothing to do with genetics. <sighs> Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most Ooh. other matriarchs Zoom are doing. Up. Jeez. Look at that mm -hmm. screw up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't going to cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. <laughs> now, I serve drinks. Blue off my ass, that's awesome. I like this lady. Yeah, she's amazing. 
Oh, I'm gonna come back and talk to her. I'm like, lady, can I just? I need advice. I need your your therapy. I need. <laughs> You're my matriarch. Yeah, I said, I'm, am I adopt you as my matriarch? <laughs> like, please, like adopt a grandma. Yep. Uh, it's like living for nearly a thousand years. Violent wars break out. Huh. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar, even had a pure blood daughter. Huh. I was the father. Didn't work out. And huh. one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. This woman is old. Mm -hmm. Like, but in like a, like a cool way. Like, because that was like 300 years ago with the Quarians. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Wow, I want to come back here, get a drink from this lady, and freaking chill out. And I want her to tell me some stories. Dang. Your figure's gotten matriarchal. That's so funny. <laughs> wow. Thanks for telling me about that. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Just, I'll take a drink. I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the I'm drink kiosk. I'm not used to a nice shepherd. Knock yourself out. Yeah, you would be. If you want. Uh -uh. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. It does nasty things to your insides. One saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. <laughs> what kind of story? The shepherd just has like a half smile. I know, on. she does. Uh huh. <laughs> and Jack's back there, like. Dang, girl, you, you like totally outdo me. I, I don't recognize Jack. Well, I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not sure about the shades. I like the biker outfit. Yes. But the shades, I'm not so much. Well, and it's funny because Jack's has shades. Um, things will have be like these weird like goggles, and um, Grunt actually has these like uh, see-through things that kind of go right next to his eyes. But it's like all three of those, those are the appearance packs I had to buy. And I'm like, why does it obscure your eyes? Like, what? all of them. You know? I'm like, that's so weird. Also, Thanks Jack has, has the like, right. the most luscious Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bull. She does. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. <laughs> She's so nice! Oh, I can buy a drink. Oh, okay. Oh! I've never done that. Get the wine. Okay, the mystery drink. I gotta get the mystery drink. Do it, do it, do it. A sorry liquor. Much more refined than that Krogan Swill. Sweet and mellow glass of honey. I've actually always wanted to try mead. Just because it's like it sounds like the word mead sounds good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like it would taste really sweet, but I have no idea. Distilled in a shadow in this planet by specifically adapted fortune or specifically adapted fortune. Ad Adapted for you. Yeah. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Jack, pick me up. Hold on to your livers. Why is it a Geth pulse rifle? Why is it a picture of a Geth pulse rifle? That's it? I'm just gonna go all woozy? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that's actually super woozy. It's not usually that bad. Apparently you can listen to this and I some still don't see why we're said. here. Solarians do not get this? married. No, My family no. simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. And <laughs> the human's story. like, this is how things are done! Yeah, there's no the sense. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. No. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? <laughs> I'm just here for the chance. <laughs> sure, uh, you we said are. that bachelor parties We've are for very close friends. In front of your We're face. just co workers. We've <laughs> been co workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Oh my gosh! Okay, now that's offensive. Yeah! <laughs> I appreciate the gesture, but my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But we actually reproduce by... My word. 
She is very limber. <laughs> that was so creepy the way he said that. Yes. Limber. It's limber. Like, well, you know, it was really cute in the um, Ilium, uh, like the Gifts of Ilium or whatever store. I was I was walking past and there's a Salarian and a Sari, and this it's like a dad. It's her dad. Or but it, I guess he's he's the current husband or whatever to her mom. But apparently her dad was also a Salarian. Because Salarian lives are so short, she was only like 50 when he, when he died. If that. If probably like 30 or 40. Because Salarians are lucky live to 50. So when you hear that an Asari has a Salarian father, which doesn't happen very often because they don't really have sex drives the same way everybody else does, um, most of the time that Asari will not have known the father. Like they will only have vague recollections of the father. But, like, he was, like, picking out all these cheesy things, like, Ilium memories and whatever, and she was like, oh, Dad, she'll love it, you know? It's, she really, But she really doesn't need another T-shirt or another fish for the pond, you know? And he's like, I just want to get her something that lasts, you know? He's like, I know you didn't really know your first dad or your, your, your real dad or whatever, you know? And he's like, it's like and, and I, he's like, you know, I'm 35 now, and he's like, and I really just want to make sure that... It's something she'll have something to remember me by and she was like she could like she was like totally like dad she'll love it whatever you get and like her Aww. voice like broke at the very end like the voice acting was phenomenal she's like she's like dad she'll love it and like started to like almost cry and i was like ah! i just kept walking back and forth like i heard part of it but i missed like like the second to last sentence and i was like no so i was like going back and forth just to listen to him and i was like i'm gonna cry i can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner but i don't have feelings of feeling i've i've always kind of wondered though like how they were that makes my legs hurt just watching it and my knees are meant to bend that way Uh your knees are they're like okay okay they are Mm mm-hmm Okay. I was like, Quarry is in a... To- oh, okay, this is a sorry. This isn't as bad as I'd fear. It's actually... I- is it warm in here? <laughs> okay. You see that bit there? <laughs> the little divot in her abdomen? <laughs> it's called a belly button. Humans in a sorry have them, and you're going to be doing shots out of it later tonight. That can't be sanitary. Not the point, man. <sighs> she... I have to wonder what she's thinking the whole yeah, time. she's like, just... Give me a good tip. Yeah, you better give me a good tip. I can understand tip. why I might find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans, too? They look just like Solari. <laughs> what? what? They look exactly like us. I'm I, I'm not seeing the Solarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Bluturians. Look at the head fridge. <laughs> Wait. You don't think they're like mind-controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. There aren't many Turian women on Ilium. <laughs> You're going to ruin Asari for me. The entire race. You're going to ruin them all. Uh, I actually did read in the art book, I think, where there was something about this. Like, it mentions the bachelor party, like, talking about how, like, like it's not really sure why, ev- why every species finds the Asari species attractive. Because... They are, they're, they're very distinct. Like, they're humanoid-shaped, but so is everybody else except the Elcor, basically, you know? Because they're on all fours. But they're the only ones on all fours. Even the Volus are just round, but they're upright, you know? But, like, I think they look more human, but I could maybe see, like... Because, like, the way the Salarian head kind of, like, the little... Yeah. Like, they have the little horns or whatever. It's kind of like the Asari... Thing, but like their knees, their legs are just like ours, and the Quarian, Turian, Sumerian legs are all a little bit different. But that's just I'm a human, you know. I, don't know. Uh, I suppose watching just one more dance wouldn't hurt. <laughs> that's the spirit. As long as I'm not paying for the drinks. When you I do still don't see, see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. You know, My family simply like negotiated a reproduction right. contract. Whatever. Yeah, so yeah. You guys get to a and then, I think that's what the I think that's what maybe what the art book says is that like each species picks out something in the Asari that looks like them. 
you, and you know, and it, it kind of it fades over the parts that don't, sort of, and so then they just become this overall, like, they look like my species, yeah. you know? An and attorney probably can't look at a human and be like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, a nice that's butt, true, you know, because yeah. they don't even... Well, because, like, a Garrus you know. is like, what nice hips, they are, like, supports your back or yeah. something. I don't know what he said. Like, I can't remember, but he says it's something. He, oh, what does he say? He's like, he's like, usually for Turian women, we like compliment their crest or whatever, mm-hmm. you know? And I was like, man, it's so funny. This their conversation gets me. Nice. I like this So one. then he says, oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. <laughs> Completely killed the moon. Not to mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? This guy is trying so hard. Yep. <laughs> He's so far in the front. I don't zone. know. You deserve somebody yeah, yeah, who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. <laughs> it's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. Vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone whose food you can eat even. I think, I don't know if I've gotten any further than that. I feel like... If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch Shepherd's a bit or drunk, something. so that's why we're doing this. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm okay. A little dry spell isn't going to kill me. We could watch Fleet and Flotilla. It got awards for its portrayal of the uh, Korean ah, ah. and Korean relationships. Anyway, if worse comes to worst... I did have the nerve stimulation program uh, built into my suit. And I hear that the love scenes are... What? Oh, yeah. Standard equipment for any responsible <laughs> dog. If you're responsible... Okay, let me fire it up. Uh, excuse me, human. Private conversation. Uh, conversation. Did you hear that? Please. Oh, oh conversation. my gosh. I've never gotten that far. Uh, yeah, Shepard's drunk. Okay, I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assume they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? Finish late now. That is like Paragon-ish, but I don't like to be pushy, so. <laughs> Have you made this quarry in your slave? <laughs> I'm just gonna go the uh, casual <laughs> route. <laughs> Before you do anything hasty, know that this quarry and signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the quarry and convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Why did this quarry and sign herself into slavery? I love how, like, Shepard's just like, slavery. 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 With numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. And I took out an illegal loan. I get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. If slavery's legal, then why are you trying to sell <laughs> Shepard's just like, slavery! Slavery! Myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian strict health requirements and mm, diets make right. them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor like profit a at best. I don't have yeah. constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So, what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. I feel like this woman is sincere. Mm-hmm. Like, in a way. But I don't know. Like, she could just be like, I'm going to sell you into the slave trade. The actual, or like, I'll take slave care trade. of you like the mafia. Yeah. But I feel like she is, she does, it's like, not like her best interests at heart, but she's like, it's an honor thing, you know, where she's like, she won't be able to broker contracts if she screws this one up, you know what I mean? So, her, like, business prize on the line or something, you know? 
so slavery is legal. <laughs> Indentured servitude. I just love this conversation because she keeps saying it. it. So slavery. So slavery and uh, slavery. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. Believe me, I'll have that There's by the end of the game. There's for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. And I think that's what would happen mm -hmm. if nobody buys her contract, you know? But she's, it, it would have to limit it because she's a technical expertise. She's not a physical laborer, you know? If they sent her off to a mine, she would just die. She's a quarian. Like, mm -hmm. they do have the special requirements. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. I don't know why everybody thinks I can do something about this, like this random person can just like do things. Only if you do this really specific thing. I might, I think so I have enough he says, Oh, it's okay. Or, I mean, as, it's so stupid, it's like, you, that's the basis of why you can't eat each other's food, let alone anything else. Can I help you with something? Would you like a Quarian? I don't know, let me see. How'd you like to get your hands on an expert Quarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait. Is this that slave? <laughs> Synthetic Insight See, she's from Ilium, but she's like slave. slave mm -hmm. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. She's to be frank, ass. we're hardly hiring anyone. She's got a small face. The death attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial okay, intelligence. Okay, good. This is good. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this Corian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarrying and garnish wages for reimbursement. <laughs> Shepard's like, bam. Interesting. Bam, bam. We look good for hiring a quarrying, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. Cap board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarrying had better be good, though. Interesting, huh? Shepard was very businesslike about that. It was really funny. I think it's kind of funny. Mine would have been like take her or else, and then God. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't even. I can't even imagine that. Just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. Well, and I've actually seen people have shown their characters being Paragon and then being Renegade, and there is actual like the way your face is at rest. Like my Shepard's mm -hmm. got a half smile on. Mm -hmm. Yours would have like a half frown on. Yes. And the scars make it really obvious, but it's different. Like the eyes and the mouth, it's just slightly different mm -hmm. depending on your, which I like. I like that if you're walking, like, like if my shepherd is something like pear or renegade with a smile on her face, you'd kind of think she was insane, you know? <laughs> I'm going to knife your face off now. It's like, okay. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll Take care of yourself. The second quarry and I've helped this game. Besides Talia, actually. I leveled up! Let's see if, let's see if Thane does that thing. I want you to see it. It's really funny. I love how every... <laughs> Checking himself out. I don't know what he's doing! It's so funny, though! He's like, like in front of a mirror, like, yeah, let me see. I don't know. I like this. I don't even know what he's doing. Alright, I, uh... I need to get myself pulled. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Look how much Paragon I have already. <laughs> Did I? Nope. What should we do? Oh, we can go back. I've actually been just trying to uh, explore planets. I don't remember what I was doing on Ilium. I think I was shopping and then they didn't have. Yeah, I think I was, and they didn't have what I wanted. 
I've already bought like all of the little damage protections and stuff that I can buy, and the rest of them I have to scan on missions. Cause I'm trying to get, and I'm playing on hard, mm -hmm. so I'm trying to get like all like as many suit upgrades and stuff that I can get. Oh yeah. Do you have anything flashier? That bolus is so creepy. I own this room. I own you. I'm like, you realize you nobody will see you that? unless you actually say something. Paid for new exosuits for my kids. That conversation to it too. Ilium is loud. Like I'm trying, I like try to like talk, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like I have to yell over. It's the radio mostly. She yeah. never shuts up, and I'm like, there's a reason in the Citadel that you have to press on the galactic news thing to get go to get the news mm -hmm. now. You know. And they have that on Ilium too, but then there's the radio lady that never stops. And there's the, always those same conversations that pick that that go on when you walk around. And I've missed this game. 